सो या गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन हाउ टू यूज लूजलेस स्केलिंग एंड फ्रेम जनरेशन इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सिंगल गेम यस ऑलमोस्ट एवरी गेम आई सी स्टिल मैनी पीपल हैव डाउट्स एंड दे डिट गेट इट वर्किंग आई सी मैनी कॉमेंट्स सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक दिस वीडियो इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट clarify everything about the loseless scaling application for for today's test i will take horizon zero dawn but you can simply do this uh, frame generation thing in almost every game so first thing is to download the application loseless scaling so to download loseless scaling this is actually an paid application so you will have to pay pay for it but if you don't want to pay for it of course no one wants to pay for it simply go in the description box of this video and download for free so let's just start from the beginning and i am going to take on every step one by one for beginners but if you have any kind of specific problem you can simply jump to the section of the video you want by the time stamp in the description box i will provide time stamps for different sections of this video so the section one is how to install and set up this application so after you download this thing it will be a zip file click extract here clicking extract here this will make a folder loseless scaling inside this you will see the application loseless scaling.exe and clicking here run as administrator run as administrator and after you run it this will be the basic interface on your screen now there is nothing to be confused about just let's go in the settings on the above top you can see the settings option click it and here this is very important R start as administrator it will always start as administrator so simply on it and scale hotkey this is the hotkey which which you will uh, have to press in order to enable frame generation in your game so assign any custom hotkey according to you as you wish and simply just enable and simply assign any hotkey here for me i am going to use control plus o and close so let's just do our setup so scaling mode set this to auto full screen full screen mode and scaling type amd fsr with optimized version on or off it's your choice and here frame generation make sure to select the lsfg frame generation in order to enable the frame generation click cursor enable click cursor and after enabling it you can simply leave all of these options to default off you don't need them down here click on draw fps on the draw fps and here in the preferred gpu select your mains gpu like i got the gt 1650 and whatever is your gpu just simply select it but i see many people didn't get any option to choose their specific gpu so don't worry if you don't got any option simply select this to auto no problems there it will still work and these are the basic settings you have to do for now you can see the settings here frame generation fsr once you are done remember your hotkey like in my case control plus o simply go inside your game now inside going the game in every game you wants to enable the frame generation 1080p resolution and turn off the fps limit and make sure that the game is running in full screen mode like you can see full screen mode and vsync is also enabled vsync on and full screen are the settings you will need inside the game in order to get it working properly so now here you can see this is without any kind of like frame generation or the loose scaling being applied i am getting pretty much 48 fps here but after i enable the frame generation now how to enable it simply press the assign hotkey like control plus o i press it and pressing it now you will actually be don't there is no need to be getting confused you will see there are two frame rates on the screen now one is showing 37 frame rates and one is showing proper 60 frame rates and if you see your game now it's 60 frame rates super smooth 60 frame rates and the and actually the you, the frames you are seeing on the left hand sides are before the game was uh, the oh okay 
just a recorder problem recorder didn't record frame generation pretty good you will see like this frame generation having problems with the recorder so i don't know how to fix it but just break a second so yeah now you can see i'm getting 60 fps actually my recorder got some problems and you will see some like pausing here because of my recorder recorder doesn't record frame generation anything like if i enable frame generation my recorder always sucks so just don't care for my recorder it getting stuck when i using the frame generation but now if you are getting confused the frame rates on the left hand of the side is actually before we use the loser scaling application it's before we generate the frames using the frame generation but on the right hand side this is after our frame generation is applied so before we are getting 38 39 and after we are getting a smooth 60 frame rates and you can also see rotating the screen we are getting 60 fps and there is not not much of a problem i believe but if you see carefully like it's 60 fps of course it's super smooth we got like around 40 percent improvement overall from comparing from the previous gameplay and you will see a little bit of like coasting around the character like you can see it's pretty unnoticeable but it is present here and like you can see we are getting way higher frame rates than before but there is little bit of coasting here but we are getting 60 that all matters here so in the end you will have to face a little bit of like this coasting problem around the character but the frame rates boost is actually insane like we are getting now proper 60 frame rates where we aren't even getting 40 properly and this is a very basic tutorial to how actually use the lose less scaling in every game but now let's go to the second part of the video i simply turn the frame generation off and i'm getting again back the old frame rates it's not smooth but now let's say your frame generation is not working properly for some reason so what you have to do if your frame if your frame generation is not working like if you are getting 60 frame rates but it's not feeling smooth at all many people say this that we are getting 60 fps but it's it's not smooth as it should be so in order to fix it open the river tuner this is rtts application enable this and what you have to do here simply here frame rates frame limit frame rate limit set this to 30 half of your refresh rate like if you have 60 set this to 30 half if you have 120 set to 60 144 hertz and according to that set the frame rates to half of your display but only do this thing if you if you're not getting the frame generation working properly in my experience i got no problems without any kind of fps lock i can actually play with frame generation but some people got problems and the 60 fps might not feel that smooth in that case you can use the 30 fps limit here but there is no need in my opinion so back to 60 frame rates and you can see the the like this is an actually a pretty impressive application and you can use this in almost any game and we are back here like this is before the frame gets getting generated and this is after the frame gets generated we are getting 60 frame rates proper every time i go it goes 60 and you will see the recorder getting stuck here for a moment and so now you can see inside this when i enable the frame generation i'm again getting the 60 frame rates So you can see after I enable the frame generation, I am again getting the super smooth 60 frame rates with 38 to 60 frame rates. So that's all for this video and a simple nice tutorial to how to use this application on any game. 
but now let's discuss some of the doubts here will this work on dad gpu dad gpu so it will work on any gpu even in intel arc gpus or you got amd interrogated i gpus it will obviously work just fine i am not sure about the intel uhd interrogated graphic cards i am not sure about that but otherwise it works on every graphic card make sure to update your drivers here and just simply do the full screen in the game in order to enable the frame generation and that's the pretty much stuff here in my opinion to do things and this will work on pretty much any gpu and if you got any problems or anything and if you got any problems and any doubts or any kind of error you are facing you can simply head over to my discord server you can ask for there there are many helpers and good people who will always help you out of the situation and all of the paid modes are available there for like free all paid modes are available for free there at the latest version so you can join my discord server or just simply leave your doubt in the comment box i will answer as fast as i can and hopefully this tutorial was helpful and like i make this tutorial because many people got problems so again i am saying that if if you see your frame generation is not working properly try locking the frame rate to 30 and then try but there is also an another thing which you can do but i don't recommend it this is just a bonus just do is just do it when you don't get anything working simply set this to custom and enable the window in mode reset before scaling enable window in mode and set your in game window to window in like i go inside i set the window in here and after you set window in that's the only thing i believe you have to do and then simply press scale hotkey and it will get upscaled from the window to full screen but i really don't get it working on window in mode so better just to set this to auto full screen and do as i tell you in this video and it will work on most of the games just fine so that's it for this video this video was actually long i never make these kind of long long videos but i really feel this will be helpful and if this was helpful just drop a like and drop a comment share this with your friends who are who are like getting problems with this application and frame generation and i catch you guys in my next video bye